You've developed an automation mindset, and now you've applied it to build your first automated workflow with Zapier. Every automated workflow you create from here on out starts with knowing what you want to automate, the apps you need to use, the rules you want them to follow, and making sure that your data is in the right place. We threw a lot at you, but now you've got a handle on the Zapier lingo, and you understand the components that make up a Zap. To recap, a Zap is a workflow that automatically connects your apps and services together to complete a task, whether that's adding a row to a spreadsheet or texting a new lead. For any Zap to launch, we need a trigger to come first. When this happens in an app, it kickstarts or triggers your automation. When the trigger happens, the action follows. Every action your Zap successfully completes is called a task. Fields are placeholders where you make sure your app's data is going to the right place. But sometimes, Zaps can hit a snag, so you've learned how to check your task history to make sure your automation is working the way you want it to. Now that you've made your own automation, you're ready to learn some of the more advanced stuff you can do with Zaps. We'll see you in the next section.